I grew up right now on thousands of acres chasing cows. And I'm good at it. I can throw a rope like nobody's business. Yeah. I'm getting older and out of practice, but I could probably still do it. I haven't tried it in a while. But I'm telling you, that would have been my life. Uh, you brought it up. I never would have told you that. <clears throat> Guys, we, I, I know there's new people in here. I know a lot of you have heard a lot of this. But unless the defendant can prove he is not a citizen of the United States, what does that say? Unless the defendant can prove he is not a citizen of the United States, well, how can you prove that if you didn't do your paperwork? What if you didn't put it on and make it a court of record? You didn't make your paperwork important. Unless the defendant can prove he is not a citizen of the United States, then the IRS has a right to inquire and determine a tax liability upon you. That means if you're a citizen, he has the right to determine a tax liability on you. Don't put the cart before the horse. Don't start telling the IRS off until you change your status. Then, flip up the bird. Kick him in the, tell him to get off it. Get out. Never deal with him again. There's only two pieces of paper we should ever give to the IRS. Two. Tell them who the fiduciary of the vessel is and claim that ship. And then give them a revocation of election. You know what a revocation is? Because it says, I cannot morally, ethically, and righteously, and I'm just going to take this group right here and say, you're U.S. citizens, and you're my society. And you're out there committing genocide. You're out there committing murder. You're out there attacking countries over money. You're attacking countries over oil. You're attacking countries over politics. You're attacking, attacking your own people. You're putting your own people in prison where there's no victim. You guys are doing all those things. And because you're doing them, it goes against God. 
And if it goes against God, it goes against my righteousness. And I can't morally, ethically, and righteously be a member of this society, this group of people right here. I cannot do it because you're doing odious behavior. You're doing atrocious things. And dang it, Fauci, you're committing genocide. Now you know why they're never going to call it genocide? Because they got you to voluntarily consent. And informed consent. They're allowed to do that. So they're doing all those things as the United States, a foreign corporation, where its bar are its soldiers who protect the pharmaceutical companies, the AMA, the FDA, the politicians, the cities, the counties, the states, of their bar is the soldiers of the bankers. They're the soldiers of the bankers. The bankers are foreign to the United States of America. And they have many agencies inside the United States acting and pretending to be government under the color of law. And you start thinking about it, you can name them off. And every bar member is supposed to register as a foreign agent under the Foreign Agents Registration Act. And almost none of them do anymore. It's been commonplace, so they quit doing it. President Trump wanted to get rid of the bar. It's costing the U.S. government about $5 million a year to maintain the building, the office, and hire the employees, and nobody's walking through the door to register. And everybody that holds a public office is supposed to register as a foreign agent. They work for the Crown. They work for the United States Corporation. They work for the District of Columbia. And the District of Columbia is under the Crown and not part of the United States. It's its own city, nation, state. It's no different than the Vatican inside of Rome. It's no different than Westminster inside of the city of London. They're independent nation states. It's no different than Canberra inside of Australia, the southern hemisphere of the Illuminati, headquarters of the Illuminati. Or most stuff happens underground. Canberra, Australia. Look at it on Google Earth. Scare the hell out of you. Okay. Canberra. Or Cranberry. Understand the pillars. Understand Washington, D.C., the Washington Monument in particular. 1,666 inches across at its base. How tall is it? 666. Six, six. How many obliques are there in your cemetery, in your town, rather than a headstone? Every one of them was a mason. Every one of them was a freemason. Yeah. Yeah. It's the reason people think of them as a big penis. They're there to screw you. And they are not particular about gender. Joke is sickening, right? 
When we truly understand, it'll blow you away. You know, in this book, I've got the actual forms they use for the bonds in court, okay? There's no denying it when you have it written down, you have it on paper, you have it on their forms, with their form numbers. <clears throat> Administrative Procedures Act, Section 6, so important. Every judge will say you can't stand up and represent, represent your neighbor in a court of law because you're not a bar member.
who is what? The highest form of law besides God himself. The highest form of law that can be bestowed upon man is to be the fiduciary, the trustee for the benefit of another. Because it's always about our heirs, successors, and assigns forever. And the definition of forever is until the end of the earth. And then we go into eternity. It's until the end of the earth. It's beautiful. Every land path 